So taming your hair is so crucial for your regimen, for your journey. today um, I have so much to do and I just wanted to get this in but I didn't want to take my hair out just for the video because I'm preparing for it to look nice tomorrow uh, which is going to end up being the day that you get this video so it's part of timing so um, it's just the end of the day and it's kind of silly to take the band out if it's already in the day um, so I hope you're okay with my banding I think it's kind of cute it's grown a lot. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Patrice D. Evans, and on this channel, my goal is to unlock a woman's joy from her beautiful hair and her health from the inside out and lifestyle, keeping Jesus at the center of all we do. I did something for the lifestyle on Tuesday where I did my belly dance with the arm drills, and then I did a message. I hope you guys love that message. It's something that I did on another channel I had called Joy, joy Party TV. Jesus overcame for you. And now I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it on this channel because um, I had um, a follower remind me about it. And she's like, what happened to your JPY TV? And it was perfect timing because I was just praying to the Lord saying I was going to be bringing it back. I was trying to find out how and all that stuff. So praise the Lord for that confirmation that I'm on the right track. And I hope you're enjoying it. Please comment below and uh, let me know if you like it, if you want me to continue. And comment below on things you like. What do you like more? Do you like the dancing more? Do you like the belly dancing more? Just the straight up fitness more? Do you like hearing about the word and hair? Or do you like all of the above and you want me to keep what I've been doing and continue to do what I've been doing? Because there's more to come the web series. I'm taking my time with that because it, I really wanted to make it really good. So um, I'm hoping I can get it out by the end of this year. If not, just look for it in the 2020 as early as possible. Okay? Because I'm really, really excited about it. And I want to do it right. Okay, but it's going to be in line with what we do here. So it's not really far off of what we do here. Okay? So definitely comment below and let me know if you're liking the stuff that I'm giving you. If there's something else you want me to share with you that's in line with what we do on our channel. Okay? All right. So without a further ado, I want to talk to you about taming your hair. I've been wanting to talk to you about taming your hair for a while because it's something that I've always believed in. And um, I think our parents did. Our mothers who did our hair when we were younger, that's what they were doing. I want to define what I believe it is, and I want to encourage you to do it, and I want to give you some reasons for why it is so important for retaining length and for managing your hair. So we have always talked about, and we've already gotten been very clear on a wash day routine, how to do a wash day routine. If that's something you're still struggling with and you really need to learn how to do a wash day routine for yourself, then definitely check out my wash day routine. Comment below if that's something that you would like me to get more in deep depth with helping you find a routine that's good for you. Um, and um, also, you know, let me know about that. You can look at my journey and check that out to see um, where I came from, where I got, how I got to where I am today and all that stuff. But it's been something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. So this is going to be a little bit of a series, um, and it's going to be about maintaining your hair. So let's say you got your wash day routine down. You know exactly how you want your wash day routine to be, right? You got that down pat, right? Now what you need to do is, okay, I know how I'm going to wash my hair and what my porosity level is and what products I'm going to use and all that. How do I maintain it from either Sunday to Sunday? or whatever your day is, whatever you wash your hair. I believe you should be doing deep conditionings once a week. So let's say you do that on a Sunday or a Monday. What are you gonna do um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? What do you do with your hair all week, right? So there are a lot of things you could be doing with your hair. It all depends on a lot with your hair. That's part of your routine, right? I don't know if we talk about that enough. So I do have a video a week in my hair from the summer that I can find and definitely put in the description if it, or you know, so that you can connect with it or at the end of the video. Um, but what I've been wanting to finally get to is how do you do this protective styling or manip low manipulating or any of that stuff, right? And putting that aside that we know we need to do protective stylings and not manipulating, there's another piece to all that which has to do with maintaining your hair in general and how you manipulate it, just maintaining it. 
and how you manipulate it. And one of the things that I think is so important is taming it. So let me tell you the how, how to tame your hair. And then I'll tell you the reasons why taming your hair is best for retaining the length. Okay, so the first thing is, is that you pick a protective style or a low manipulation style, right? Pick one. Um, I don't like long-term protective styles like braids and weaves and sew-ins and all that. I think it dries my hair out. And when I take it out, I feel like my hair is very thin and fine. So I've done weaves my whole life. There are times when my hair has really been down past my shoulders and bra length, but so thin. It, it was just like a joke. And now that I know my hair, I bet you it was really my tail by here that was long because it grows so fast, the tail part of my hair. So I bet you I was having long hair, but it wasn't my whole head reaching there. And now I know my hair, I know how it grows now, so I understand it. And the crown area needs a lot of attention, a lot of moisture, and um, whatever you do in your five steps in terms of taking care of it, where you cleanse it, you give it the protein treatment, um, which is strengthening, you moisturize it with deep conditioning and leave-in, and then you seal it with oil or butters, and then you dress it with gel or hairdressing, like with however you style your hair with a styling uh, dressing. So if you're doing all five of those things, that's what that would be your regular routine. But after that, beyond that, how do you maintain whatever you put in your hair when you did your wash day, right? Okay, and with the crown area, I feel like that area needed all of that more than the rest of my hair, so that really didn't get what it needed. So that's very important. So we let's put that aside, the five P's, the very important things to do for your hair once a week and protein once a month. Uh, beyond that, how do I manipulate my hair? How do I take care of it from wash day to wash day? And well, let's just assume that we're gonna agree that protective styling is definitely great for those who do it. For my channel, it's low manipulation style. So we're gonna go into the low manipulation style and see why taming your hair is so important. Okay, so taming your hair is basically getting it to get so used to a style that even when you're not purposely trying to put it in that style, it just reverts to it. It's almost like you blow dried your hair and then it takes a while for it to get revert back. Well, you're trying to do that by the styling that you do with it. You're keeping it in that style so much that it almost, you can, I could take out my bands now and go like this, and it basically will stay very close to that style like it wants me to put it right back. There's something about your hair where I believe it loves that. I think our kinky curly hair likes to be tamed. I think it, enjoy, it, it just, works well for us, it grows, it's good for it, um, all the nutrition and everything we put in it stays in it. So taming your hair is so crucial for your regimen, for your journey. And it's so important because what it is that you're doing is you're picking, like I said, you're picking something, let's pretend protective styles over here somewhere. We're gonna focus only on manip low manipulation styles in this video, okay? You, so you pick a low manipulation style that you put your hair in over and over and over again and you're not trying to be creative and crazy you're sticking to the same style if you do that with low manipulation styles you're very 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 close to the protective style where it literally never moves from that style so if you have a, a long-term protective style and it's in corn rolls the corn rolls don't go anywhere right so it's been tamed because it's not going anywhere it, it, day in, day out, you got the same style, right? So that's a different type of taming where you never manipulate it. Well, low manipulation styles, you take it out and put it back in, but there's a way to take it out and put it back in where you're still keeping it very close to what it was originally, and that's how you're taming your hair. And then after you wash it, you put it right back in. So you do it, you wash it, put it right back in. Doesn't that sound a lot like what mom used to do to our hair when we were younger? She used to put the pigtails, and we have the pigtails all throughout the week. That's like protective styling, you know, low manipulation. I'm not sure if you want to call it whatever you want to call it. Then when we took, when we had our wash day, she just put it right back in, right? So that's what I'm talking about. There's something about doing that so often that your hair is tamed and it's almost as though you blew it out and it won't revert very easily. So let's just define taming as hair that doesn't revert very easily to the kinks and the curls. It stays closer to whatever you stretched it out in and it takes a lot to put it, to make it revert. There's nothing wrong with it, it's not damaged, it's just not reverting very easily, which is very good because it makes it easier for a lot of things. And we'll talk about those three main things. 
So that's what it is. What taming your hair is, is when you don't revert, you don't go, you don't change styles very often. And like I said in my other video, which I'll link here um, um, from the series, is that um, if you keep parting your hair in the same spot, but you keep kind of a loose ball, see it's kind of loose. I always keep it slightly loose. It's never too tight. If you tend to do that, then I think that's ideal for how to tame your hair. So I keep it in the same banding um, all the time. Not very different from what I'm doing here all the time. Like I've been doing it for, you know it's been over a year, right? It's been like probably two years, but I'm thinking it's a year and a half at least that I've been doing the exact same thing. Look how long my bands are right now. Look how long it is right here. So I just decided since it's winter that there will be times when I might, now my new week to week might be that I leave it in two days, take it out two days, leave it in. I'm still working on my, what I'm doing from wash day to wash day because it changes based on the season, right? It really does. So we're talking about the manipulation of the hair, not the stuff you put in it, but how you handle it throughout the week. The week. And there might be a little bit of what you put in it too sometimes because you might have to refresh it, but it's what you do week to week. So the reason why, so taming your hair for low manipulation for me is banding. So taming your hair, the umbrella of taming your hair, you can have um, long-term protective styling, low manipulation, and then underneath the manipulation is a type of low manipulation, and mine is banding. So I've chosen banding as my low manipulation style, sometimes protective style because I may not take it out, right? So let's start from there. Let's say banding is going to be the one we're going to talk about in terms of why, right? You can pick twist outs, bantu knots, um, flat twists, uh, braid outs, those are low manipulation styles because you take it out at one point. But just, so so let's just keep that. And then let me just stay within the definition a little bit more. So if you did a, a bantu knot, what you do is you twist it and it goes into this knot, right? Let's say you only do that for a night or you do it for a day. When you take it out, you just unravel it and you might stretch it out a little bit. Some people pick their hair out, but with the taming of your hair, you don't want to go crazy picking your hair out. Okay, so let's see. So bantu knots is how you would do a bantu knot, right? If you did a twist out, you're twisting your hair everywhere. You might leave it in for a day or two or whatever, and then you untwist it, right? When you do that, you just maybe play with it a little bit to make it look good, but you don't over pick it, right? Because you're going to just keep put it right back in that twist out very soon, right? It should be in a style where it'll be easier for you to put it right back in. Then let's say the flat twist, same thing, right? Those are good for TWAs, by the way. And now we have the banding. So all I do with this banding is I take it out and then I have my hair so that you always see. And then you can't see the parts that are in here, but what's good about taming is that you have these parts already in there and so you're not pulling apart your hair and hurting it anymore, right? So it's easy to put it right back in. So you just keep doing it, keep doing it. And you gotta get over the whole on board with it because that's part of what taming hair is. So now that we know what taming hair is, these are the reasons why I believe it's now, it's probably obvious why, but why I believe doing this repetitively, staying with whatever you pick is so important. What I wanna make clear also is that when you pick whichever protective style you pick or low manipulation style you pick, what taming would mean is you stick with it. So if your hair is getting used to the braid out, stick with the braid out. If it's used to twist out, stick with it. Bantu knot, stick with it. Banding, stick with it. That's what tame your hair is. You pick something and you stick with it. Your hair gets used to it, it likes it, and it gets, it's just like your body, your muscle, your stomach, your, your brain, everything is that you need to tell your hair, we're gonna always do this, so don't worry, I'm not gonna surprise you, so that you can grow and be healthy and, you know? So that's what taming, taming your hair is. I hope that makes sense. I will repeat the, the uh, te definition of training um, because I kind of feel like I'm making up the definition myself, so it's gonna take a little bit of explaining to get to it because I don't hear people talking about it that much. So I'm gonna do a series and talk more about it. The more I talk about it, the easier the definition will be, right? But I think you get the point. Do what you do all the time and your hair will get used to it and it won't be, you know, difficult to continue to do that, right? So these are the three reasons why it's so good for retaining length. First of all, when you tame your hair with whatever you're taming it with, you, whatever you decide to do, you're going to have less single strand knots 
and fairy knots because it's tamed, right? When your hair is wild and all over the place, you get a lot of single strand knots, right? But if you tame it and keep it in something and keep it pulled together um, where they're not intertwining as much with themselves, you have less single strand knots. Single strand knots, um, fairy knots, they contribute to a lot of why our hair falls out, why we have to trim it so much, and why we lose all of our length. So that's reason number one. So reason number two is that you're stretching your hair. Um, we always say stretch your hair, right? And what's important about stretching our hair is, once again, the single strand knots. So I guess I should say the stretching first and the single strand knots. But when we stretch our hair, the good thing about stretching your hair also is that you can man manage it easier. You're able to, you can put your fingers through it a little bit better, you can manage it better, you can handle it better, and they, it won't be damaged, as damaged as it would be if it were not tamed. If you have to keep starting from scratch all the time, then that means you are working harder at doing your hair, right? And so um, that brings me to reason number three. So the third reason is because your wash routine is gonna be easier. And if your wash routine is easier, then you're less likely to damage your hair. You want to have your revert, you want your hair to revert some so that it, you show elasticity. But if it starts to become looser and easier to manage, it's probably because you have been taming it. Your wash day is gonna be so much easier because your hair is gonna get so used to being in that state that you'll probably just wash it and it just, it probably won't revert too much and then you put it right back. Like if you just keep putting it right back and taming it right after wash day and keep it close to that tamed style, then it's gonna make everything so much easier. And just think about it. If your wash day is easier, you will not lose as much hair because you're not having to detangle so much. If your uh, stretch is easier, if you actually have your hair stretched at all, you're less likely to have it revert to the kinky stage where you have to start all over again from your starting point. Your starting point is not gonna be so kinked that you have to work so hard to get whatever style, you know what I mean? Which is very similar to the wash day. And then the single, the um, fairy knots. You're not gonna have as many fairy knots because you're going to be taming it so much. We're gonna probably have fairy knots no matter what because of our type of hair, kinky curly hair. However, we will minimize that. And if you've noticed, my hair has gotten so thick. It's gotten so thick. It's what I'm putting in it and what I'm putting in my body, but it's also how I'm maintaining it. I am not changing. You know, the biggest thing around taming, the biggest word for with taming your hair is consistency. You have got to get comfortable with one of the manipulating styles and methods. Pick a method that you think you can do for a lifestyle and stick with it. And it's okay if you do it two days, take it out two days, but I don't think you should be doing twist outs, then I'm gonna do a braid out, then I'm gonna do banding. You're doing all these different things to your hair, okay? so. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope that that helped you. It's impromptu. I just needed to get it out because this is part of a series. I'm gonna be talking more about this because I'm gonna tell you why banding, I think, is the best one. Well, I think I said that in the beginning, but I'm gonna get into it a little bit more and I wanna hear your feedback as to which ones you think are best. Do you tame your hair? And if you tame your hair, do you use long-term protective styling or do you do um, manipulation, low manipulation styles in a short term? In my next video, I'm gonna tell you why banding, I think, is best again. But I'm also gonna tell you why low manipulation styles are better also for your week to week maintaining your hair. There's a real reason why you need to be touching and feeling your hair, okay? And so you don't want long term protective styling and it sets you back when it's time to take it out. You, you know what I'm saying? You still gotta learn your hair, right? So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. So I hope that this has helped you. God bless you. And I hope that you were blessed by my video last week. I will definitely link it in the end if you haven't had a chance to see it. And I want, I need to hear feedback from you. I need to know what you're loving. Do you want me to keep doing what I'm doing? Um, because unless I bumped into somebody who watches my, my videos, how would I know that they love it? So you have to tell me by email, by commenting. So I love you guys so much. Keep Jesus a part of your journey and everything that you do. Pray over your hair, pray for me. I'll be praying for you. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.